Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini. Now, think about that. Think about Christmas. Maybe that'll help you make you feel cooler on this brutally hot day. They're your complete holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs. That's whether you want your home decorated to be the best looking decorated house on the block, or maybe you want to do this as a business. Give them a call. They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, on Long Island. 631-957-5106 is the phone number. The website is, Omni, is um, liholidaylighting.com. And brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. And their phone number is 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town when it comes to hardware, mulch, topsoil. Come wintertime, it'll be for salt and any emergency preparedness supplies that you might need. Uh, head over to Omni. The website is omnitruevalue.com. So pretty much the third day in a row here and certainly the most brutal of the last three days in terms of the heat and humidity. We have uh, sunshine uh, everywhere going into this afternoon. And once again, we've got another one of these disturbances that's moving along into this hot very humid and very unstable air mass. So that will probably mean for some thunderstorms that develop once again late this afternoon and into this evening. I'm thinking today that the action might be a little more north than it will be south. So if you are in northern Pennsylvania, the Hudson Valley and points northward, you stand, stand I think, a better chance of seeing some thunderstorms in situations like this. Uh, you know that the risk for thunderstorms is there, but it's really very hard to pinpoint exactly where those storms are going to develop. Also, by the way, on the lower right, we have a very disorganized looking tropical depression, Fred, which is now back out over the open waters and moving on a west-northwest track. You can see it really doesn't look all that healthy. Uh, most of the showers and thunderstorms that are with this are scattered to the east of the center. There's very little going on around the circulation in uh, itself. And we're going to come back to that in just a little bit. So uh, the last couple of days, uh, the clues were what was going on back in western New York and western Pennsylvania. And you can see that already there's the seedlings for thunderstorms developing at the midday hour. And they look like this time around, again, looks like maybe they're a bit further to the north. Uh, rather than in areas to the south. I still think that the best approach to this is to just watch the radars late this afternoon because I'm sure there are going to be thunderstorms popping up uh, in places away from the most favored zone. And the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather from northern Pennsylvania, the uh, middle and upper Hudson Valley, upstate New York, uh, Vermont, and parts of New Hampshire and western Massachusetts. The marginal risk runs down from New England across Long Island, across southern New Jersey, uh, into Maryland and points westward. And we're going to have another day of severe weather risk on Friday. It's going to be another brutally hot and humid day. And we're going to see a marginal risk from New England down through the uh, uh, Tennessee and lower Ohio Valley. I, I tend to think that they may wind up adding a bit of a slight risk area in here and maybe expanding that marginal risk area a little bit more uh, when we uh, get a bit closer to this. So just keep that, uh, keep that in mind. And then as far as Saturday is concerned, after a weather front goes by, uh, it's general thunderstorms. And I think the best chances for those are going to wind up being from Delaware and Maryland down into Virginia and points southward. Rainfall the next seven days. Now you can see the rainfall is very generous across Florida here, five inches or more in the next seven. And most of this is due to whatever happens with Fred. And there's still a lot of uncertainty there, not only with the track, but what exactly are we going to be dealing with here? It's very disorganized. And there's some question as to how much, if any, strengthening is going to occur as it moves west northwest. Uh, also, some big rains being indicated from northeast Georgia up the Appalachians, up the central, the central and southern Appalachians, and then heading on up uh, into uh, Virginia and Maryland, where we're looking at rainfall amounts of uh, two to three inches or more, and even some pockets of four or five uh, over the next week. So we're just in the throes of another 
uh, you know, very uh, a hot, humid air mass here in the eastern part of the U.S. Uh, we're seeing uh, dew points that started out the day in the middle 70s. They're going to be in the middle 70s. And temperatures this afternoon are going to climb up uh, to the mid-90s to near 100 degrees in some spots. And that is creating a very, very unstable atmosphere. So uh, we uh, go through uh, the chance for thunderstorms. You can see where the GFS has them at 8 o'clock tonight uh, across uh, upstate New York, the middle and upper Hudson Valley in northern Pennsylvania, not much to the south. Be cautious when looking at these models when it comes to thunderstorms. Then for tomorrow, as a weather front approaches, a chance for thunderstorms later in the day. Uh, you can see the uh, model as this model is sending, say, saying that maybe it'll be a little bit more of the south for uh, Friday uh, night. And ahead of that, Friday is going to be brutally hot and brutally humid with temperatures again, mid to upper 90s for highs from northeast Virginia on up to southern New England. And then after that front goes offshore, there's a secondary front that will probably pass through around midday on Saturday. And that will start to bring the dew points down. So we're going to see some humidity relief come in starting Saturday afternoon from north to south and then taking over most of the area for Saturday night and Sunday as this nice little high builds in. Uh, notice there's a little bit of moisture there down in Delaware and over into Virginia. That's where the frontal boundary is kind of hanging out. And we're going to have to be a little cautious of this uh, for Sunday. But right now I'm thinking uh, to be mostly optimistic as far as the weekend is concerned. We're going to hold on to that high in New England going into the first part of next week for Monday. But then after that, the humidity is going to come up. And then you see the moisture that's down in the southeast. Uh, that is from Fred. And we'll have to just take this day by day in terms of uh, what exactly is going to happen with that moisture. Does it get pinned down uh, to areas to the south? Or does it come shooting up? I tend to favor the idea that maybe that high is going to do a good job in trying to pin that moisture down at least uh, into Tuesday. Now, back to uh, Fred, uh, the uh, models that forecast intensity have all really kind of backed off on strength. We only have one model that takes it back up to about 50 knots as far as wind is concerned. A fair amount of them keep them uh, bring this back up to tropical storm strength, but there's a lot of them that, that don't. So uh, there's there's uh, there are many questions here. There's a lot of uh, wind shear across uh, the southwest Atlantic and the Bahamas and just north of Cuba. That's going to prevent intensification. Uh, conditions may get a little bit more favorable for tropical cyclone strengthening once it reaches uh, the uh, eastern Gulf of Mexico, but that's going to depend on how close it is uh, to Florida. And these forecast tracks they haven't really changed too much. Uh, they're mostly offshore the west coast of Florida over the weekend and then heading for the Florida panhandle, perhaps somewhere between, say, Panama City uh, on the west side to uh, Pensacola, or if you take some of the furthest west plots, uh, maybe as far west as the Alabama-Florida state line. Uh, again, much to think about here when it, when it comes to uh, uh, Fred and the latest position uh, from the Hurricane Center, as of 11 a.m. Eastern Time, is 20.9 north, 74.4 west, or right just offshore the uh, eastern tip of Cuba. And it is moving on a uh, west-northwest course, so it's going to straddle that coastline that will likely keep the intensity down or keep it from strengthening at all, that plus the wind shear. And then once it gets a, far enough to the west, where the terrain of Florida is less, uh, the terrain of Cuba is less mountainous, and it's in the Florida Straits with the uh, water temperatures there in the mid to upper 80s. There's a better chance that we could uh, see Fred start to strengthen back into a tropical storm, which is what the Hurricane Center does, curving it northwestward, and by Monday morning somewhere a landfall on the uh, Florida Panhandle. But you know, keep an open mind on this because this could there, there may be more changes on the way with respect to. Uh, what's going to happen uh, with Fred. Also, very quickly, there is a, another wave that's way out in the Atlantic, about 1,400 miles east of the Lesser Antilles, and conditions are going to become more favorable for this to develop, and the Hurricane Center has a 60% probability that this become, could become a tropical depression uh, or a tropical storm sometime early next week. Weather in 5, uh, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. 
OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106, LIHolidayLighting.com, the website there. So uh, try and stay cool on this brutally hot day. Heat indices are going to be 105 or higher, and in some places 110 or higher. So the pool, the beach, the air conditioning, uh, definitely the place to be. And the Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 7.30 as we go through everything that's going on weather-wise and keep you updated on all the, the important matters going on with respect to severe weather, with respect to Fred, and anything else that might pop up between now and then. Have a great day, everybody.